Hi everybody, welcome to Rocktech channel where we do different reviews of uh, luxury high-end products to provide you with information to make uh, decisions about buy, buying them or not. Um, today I'd like to do a review of the Chanel trainers that I have uh, for about a year now, more than a year, and I just wanted to share my experience with you of, of, of these trainers and whether they're worth it. So let's just jump right through it. So they come in a box just like this, very nice, always with the ribbon and the camellia. This is the coat of this specific design that I had purchased uh, back in June 2016. So you can see the coating here and the, uh, the size, okay? So this is the Chanel box right here. So let me show you the trainers or sneakers as we call them in the US. So this is the authenticity card, the different ribbons. They come with two separate dust bags, okay? There's another ribbon here. Um, and I think I have also the receipt. Yeah, the receipts right here. Um, and basically, yeah, they were bought on in June last year. So, okay, so these trainers are the black calfskin ones, the black leather calfskin and I'll close the box so then you can see them here very nicely so this is the side it's all in black calfskin leather with the uh, black laces and the Chanel logo here um, in the front all leather with the white sole underneath and the CC logo here and then they have a black satin heel okay I don't know what is the name of this uh, of this design. I think it's just a classic uh, black trainer. Um, if it didn't have the Chanel logo here, you wouldn't be able to tell that they are Chanel, actually. I know that a lot of people have been looking for the ones that have the CC logo here on the side, um, but I haven't seen those in the stores for quite a while, so I don't know if that's a design that they have just completely discontinued or they're going to be bringing, you know, every now and then. So let me tell you about these trainers. So uh, at first, they are quite hard to break into, but after the first, second time, they they break in really very well. They, um, they are very, very uh, comfortable. They, um, they have very good padding inside for ankle and arch support. In fact, they have a Chanel, don't know if the, if the uh, camera can pick it up, but basically there is a Chanel logo inside. Um, so, I, I wore these about five, six times maybe, and they are very super comfortable. They don't, um, they, they do have a very good arch support, as I said, and ankle support. Um, they, um, they don't kind of crease easily here, um, as you see from the, from the leather. And they're quite inconspicuous in the sense that if people don't notice the logo here, you can't tell they are Chanel. Um, now, the, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this review is because a lot of my friends, a lot of people are asking me, hey, you know, are Chanel trainers worth it, you know, and how much do they cost? So when I bought them last year, they were about 600 pounds sterling um, in, in the UK. Uh, I don't know how much they, they cost in the US because uh, I, haven't, I haven't looked into it. Um, but now these are up in price, so I think they're about 700 pounds uh, sterling in the UK and I think a little bit more in, in euros. So, you know, my, I mean, I like them, I think they're very comfortable, I think the materials and the craftsmanship is great because it's all leather uh, throughout just the silk um, panel of the heel here. I think they're inconspicuous and I like the fact that they don't have the CC logo on the side because it's just too much, you know, Chanel, Chanel screaming. Um, but on the other hand, uh, Chanel is not 
a product expert in trainers. Obviously, you're not going to wear these to go running or do your uh, workout or, you know, run a marathon. Obviously, these are luxury end trainers and it's, you know, it's 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 a designer item. But my thinking is and has always been and that's my humble opinion and I uh, I'm not judging anybody that has a different opinion to mine or thinks you know, these, uh, y y you know, differently than me and these trainers, uh, you know, are what they are. But I'm, I'm definitely a classic girl. I love Converse. I love Nikes, my Nikes, my New Balance, uh, my Asics for running and, and training. Uh, and I like to wear products that have been known uh, for many many years and they have let's say established an expertise on a particular product so for me um, when I uh, when I think about sneakers okay uh, snakes and, and, and trainers as we say here in Europe and in the UK um, for me I think of ASICS, I think of Nike, I think of, a, uh, of of those kind of brands. Even if I'm not wearing them to go train or run, I still gravitate towards those brands rather than gravitating to uh, the Chanel trainers for some reason, which which is quite strange because I'm not unhappy with the product. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm very, you know, uh, I'm very satisfied. I think you know, for the money you pay, you get a leather, uh, a leather trainer. Uh, you get you know a very good quality, uh, you know, very sturdy, very well made. But then again, you expect it when you buy Chanel. But is it worth it for the money? Um, I don't know. That's my honest answer. Um, I can't tell you yes or no. I just think I'm a little bit dubious. If I were to buy another, you know. Uh, consider, I should say, buying another Chanel um, sneakers, I probably wouldn't. Because for me, in my view, Chanel are the bags, the costume jewelry, um, you know, the, the, the jackets. That's what Chanel is for me. Um, you know, if, if Karl Lagerfeld comes out with uh, Chanel bathroom tiles, probably, you know, I wouldn't buy them. Uh, because that's not what Chanel represents for me. Like, I wouldn't buy, let's say, if Converse came out with uh, leather bags, uh, because I don't see Converse, you know, that's their uh, product expertise. That's not what they're known for. So, uh, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, this is another product, you know, the espadrilles, you know, these, um, these trainers now have the Chanel, but I haven't gravitated in, in wearing them for a long time and that kind of tells me that yes they are great, yes they are stylish, yes you can wear them to the office if you don't want to wear heels, uh, they're quite inconspicuous which is nice, that's what I actually love about them and, and that's what made me buy them, the fact that they didn't have the logo, um, whereas other people like it and that's fine. Um, but I, I just, I just don't know. I, they, if, if you didn't have the Chanel logo here, you probably, you know, somebody wouldn't probably notice that they are Chanel. It could have been any other, uh, you know, brand. So the resume of this review is that they are great, great craftsmanship, great quality, great leather. They hold very well. Uh, they are stylish to a degree. Of course, now they come in different colors. I think white and maybe uh, gray or, or silver. Um, to be honest, I haven't, I haven't looked for uh, sneakers, Chanel sneakers in a while, so I'm not up to speed with what's the latest uh, design. Um, and if you, if you love Chanel, maybe that's for you maybe it's a good investment now in terms of resale value uh they hold the resale value really well um for the moment because i think it's very hot right now everybody's into you know designer sneakers like you know you have the competitors the gucci the common projects you know the the dior everybody now the louis vuitton everybody comes out with sneakers and trainers 
I think they hold really well their value because they are Chanel and you will never see them, um, you know, on sale. Uh, but I think that will not be the case going forward because they're going to lose their value because people are going to move on to other things. It's not like the handbags, you know, the 2.55 ratio or the classic timeless or the clutches or the costume jewelry for that matter. So I think for now, if you have them and you're not wearing them or, you know, you are just tired of them, I think this is a great time to sell them in, in the secondhand market because you're going to get most for the money you you uh, you paid for. Um, if you like them and you want to keep them, yes, of course you keep them. But then again, if you want to buy another pair, then th I'll leave that up to you. But I thought that sharing uh, this info with you to help people who are considering into buying, who are looking and they're not sure, uh, you know, I think that's that the, I thought that would be uh, that would be helpful so let me know what you think uh, let me know your comments and uh, I'd love to hear from you with any other ideas you want us to uh, present and show and do any review of any other thing let us know and please subscribe if you like this video and see you in the next one take care have a great day